Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm going to put together a couple of these Dollar Tree forms today. We're gonna do the bunny and we're gonna do this Easter egg. And I'm gonna try to give you maybe a little more view here, see if that helps. So for this one, I'm gonna go a little rustic. So let us take the tag off. I am gonna use some of this burlap ribbon. I think I got it at Michael's or Joanne, but I know they sell burlap at the Dollar Tree. It's just probably this wide. This is just a little wider. My egg form, scissors, and then I got wire cutters, and I am using floral wire, but you can use pipe cleaners, absolutely. I'm just gonna use floral wire because that's what I have handy. And I think there should they have different names. Chenille stems, pipe cleaners, all the, you know, they're all the same thing. I don't think it's politically correct to call them pipe cleaners anymore, or maybe people don't do pipes anymore, or it's a different kind of pipe. I don't know. I'm just cutting pieces and there's no measuring here. I'm just cutting pieces of this wire to, oops, and I just got hot glue on me. Well, that's not good. I am also heating up my hot glue gun over here off camera to decorate after, but I don't need it right now. So that's what we're doing, but I stuck my arm in it and now I have hot glue on my shirt. Oh, well, okay, back to the egg. So I think I'm gonna start down here because I have reasons, who knows? And I'm not even cutting anything but I am going to turn this actually what I should do is run a bead of glue so it doesn't fray right because burlap definitely frays so I'm just running it here squeezing it down and where I start and finish I will have a I'm going to put a bow or some decor and so I want to, all I'm doing is just grabbing it in a knot. And this is just for the first piece. And there's a bazillion ways to do the, oh, let's go over here, uh, to do this. We've all seen with the deco mesh and all of that. So I'm just turning it. Oh, you can't see me. On the back, twisting the wires. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna cut them and tuck them in because this will hang probably on a door. And what you don't want are these sharp wires poking at your wood doors. And then I'm just gonna go, and honestly, I made these way too long. And then I'm just gonna gather and I'm, so I'm going to go from like these two to these two to these two, just to give it some dimension here, you know? You can also pop it up through the back end. I just know people do that, like from underneath here. And what they would do is say, take that to this side and pull it up through, which we could do that as well. Maybe that's an easier route for us to go. The one thing I would want to do is um, definitely pull it and fluff it. And then again, you're going to want to not go through the same opening, right? Yeah, I think this might be the better look that I'm kind of looking for, which is just a messy burlap. And I'm hoping that I have enough burlap. I didn't really do any measuring, right? And then you're just, you're gonna have to just fuss with it. So why don't we do that? We'll do this all the way around till I get back over here. And we're gonna have to do, you know, some 
some fluffing up and stuff like that. I'll show you a couple more and then what I will do is shut the camera off because nobody wants to watch this all day. But I'm going, so this one came through this first slot here. I'm going to go through this one next to it, pull it out. And I just want to make sure that I'm utilizing the whole width of this. Because see how it's going to give me a nice full effect. Then I'm going to go through this third opening. And that's going to keep it from pulling itself out. Right? And there we go. And then I'm going to have that. And you're going to have this bunching effect, which is what I'm looking for. So I will take care of this whole egg and then I'll be back. Okay. I have it all together here. Um, there are some places I can see the wire through, but that is okay. So the one thing I did is I made a very basic bow. We've made these before. Make whatever bow makes you happy. So we have our basic bow that's going to come here off the bottom on this side. And I have my bunny butt right here. And I'm going to see if I can kind of cut. Ah, I can. I cut the stick off. Perfect. So we did that. I'm just using my wire nips because I want to put the bunny butt in the middle of the bow because I think that that is adorable, but we'll see. Now I have all of these and I will tell you, they have double stick tape or something on them. They're very sticky, but again, wire nip, scissors, whatever you have. I'm just cutting off these eggs and I wanna tuck them in and that's going to help me cover up, um, some of these openings that I can see. So I'm just gonna tuck in my eggs. And I love the texture that this bow or that this wreath is gonna have. I don't know if I'm gonna use the pink eggs because I'm using a pink bow, but I'm definitely using um, the green, the purple and the blue eggs up here. But that's so weird to me that they stuck them together because the stick is super sticky on all of them. I thought maybe at first it was just one. Oh, I want a blue. But that is not the case, guys. And that is okay. Right, that is all right. We know how to make things work. And I'm just hot gluing here. And I'm just kind of tucking it in. Let me get another glue stick going we go um and I'm you know me I don't do random very well but I will point the eggs to the top this is the top of the egg form now I've got two options with the bunny butt or I might put something else I might just put an egg in the middle I don't know we'll see when we get to the bow we're not there, but I'm just kind of doing this super basic because I just like the organic. So I have three over here. One, two, three, and I probably need a couple more down here. Nope, not blue. Yes, blue right down here. Oh, Guys, I love this. I do. And I want to kind of leave room down here. But what do you think I should do right here? I guess we're going to do another blue bunny, another blue egg. Yeah, or I could do a pink one right here. See, they're like stuck together when they come out of the packaging and it's goopy like sticky here I can put a pink one down here because you got to have all your eggs in a basket ah. okay then I want to put that right there for sure I definitely want that right there you want to use a fair amount of glue when you're gluing on to metal 
I don't know if you know that or not, onto these metal frames because um, you gotta make sure it sticks. Now I have the big carrots. Do I wanna do a carrot in the middle? Mm. I really wanna do the bunny butt. So let's just do the bunny butt and call it a day, right? And that's it. How easy was that, guys? Now, I, ha I could put some other ribbon in here if I wanted to. Um, like, I have some small ribbon here. I have glue on my nail. Some small ribbon here from the Dollar Tree. But honestly, I just think I like it like that. What do you think? I like it. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but in the burlap, there's some gold. So I'm getting a little bit of a shine, but look at the bunny butt. All right, we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna start on the Easter Bunny head. So let me move around some supplies. Okay, next wreath that we are doing is the bunny head. And my take on this, I just have all my supplies out over here, is I got some chenille from the Dollar Tree. This, I don't know where it's from. I think it might be the Dollar Tree, but I just wanted white. Um, ribbon, geez, Lori, words. On here, even though I'm just trying to a little bit cover up this black, but also something for the pom-poms to stick to because I got these to attach to it. So let's start, I guess we'll start um, and cover, I gotta move my tea guys, I'm having some tea today. It's chilly out, it's 25. Mm, I love tea. Okay, so I have my glue gun over here and I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm just going to put a little drop of glue right here. Just a little drop. Ah. And attach it right there. And I just want to go around and around. And you don't even really have to um, glue it the whole way. You can glue it a little bit. Like every once in a while, I will put some glue like right here, just a little piece. But you don't have to glue it every time you wrap it around. It's gonna hold itself down as long as you're pulling it tight. This is wired ribbon. I really wish I had more of an opaque white, but you know, we'll do what we gotta do here. So give me a second. I'm going to Get this all the way around and I'll be right back. All right, so I have this all wrapped in that white ribbon. You don't wanna make it taut, but not too tight where you're squeezing that or you're gonna end up breaking it. Trust me, I know. Then we're gonna do the ear. I've already done one, but I will show you how I do it. I pulled from the center of this um, chenille so that I don't have my yarn flopping all over the place and again we're going to not be tight but definitely secure if that makes sense so this is what I'm doing and you know at like everything you do you take this idea and run with it maybe you have a better idea of what you want yours to look like go for it this is just what I came up with. Now, we're not gonna worry too much about what shows through uh, because I am gonna be hiding most of it. So, I'm just wrapping it around. Now, on the way up, going to the widest part, I only secured it a couple times because it's the natural inclination is that this chenille wants to slide down towards the bottom. 
So I just kind of secure it every few wraps. Just a couple drops of hot glue. Let it go and sit for a second. And then, oops. Then we're just going to keep going around and around. Now, you don't have to do this. You could double your chenille and just wrap it around the wire if you wanted to do white and pink. You could take chenille and wrap it around the whole body of this. You could cover this in felt. You could cover it in ribbon. You can cover it in twine. If you want to go more like boho, you could cover it in some type of... Uh, like macrame rope. Like I said, these are the things I saw and a lot of the stuff I already had. And so this was just the idea that I came up with, but it's just an idea. And that's the thing. I mean, we're all gonna come up with our own take on things. Maybe somebody's already done this and I haven't seen it. I don't know. Because I don't watch a lot. Lately, I've been working. All right, I got a knot here, so I need to, or not a knot, but a, here we go. So I'm just pulling out some more chenille. It, this stuff tends to tie up on itself, but it doesn't knot easily, which is nice. But I want to pull out enough. Okay. So we're getting to the fat part. And oops, so we're gonna do more glue. You know, maybe just a couple wraps. And you can always just push it down in the center, depending how tightly you want it wrapped. You know, that's what's the beauty of it. My idea here is I want the inside to be um, pink because it's gonna be a white bunny with pink ears. And yeah, this is all I'm doing. Now I'll push it down. Now we're getting to the fattest part of the ear. So we're gonna do more glue. And then when we get to the top, we're doing a lot more glue. But the glue is gonna keep it from doing exactly what it just did, spreading out. And I don't want too many openings. I think I saw something somebody hauled. Oh, I got glue in my hand. Similar to this that they bought at Big Lots, maybe? But it was well more than a couple dollars, I can tell you that much. All right, we're gonna have to start with the glue. A little more on the glue. So this is how I'm gonna do it now that we're getting up here and it's wanting to slide around. First, I'm gonna get my glue gun over here. And I'm gonna give myself like an inch of glue, right? And then I'm just gonna wrap it pretty quickly around here. And even if the glue dries a little bit, the texture from the hot glue will keep it from sliding up, which is a nice benefit. And you definitely wanna be working with cool temperature glue here because you don't wanna burn yourself. And I'm touching this glue pretty regularly. This is the hardest part, guys, of this whole project, if you wanna call it hard. Not hard, but tedious, maybe, is just wrapping this, oops, wrapping this around. Okay, glue gun. I just made a hot mess of life. Hold on, we'll clean it up in a second, but let's get that. And I just want to make sure that it's taut here. Let's pick up the glue gun. Thank goodness hot glue doesn't stick to seriously everything, right? Because it's all over my table. Just as a, a reference, this is a work table. This is not my dining room table. You've all seen my dining room table. Okay. And if you need to, especially up here, just make it a messy go around. Because mostly up here is going to happen is your pom-poms are going to cover it. So there we go. Let that sit for a second and dry. And I'll be back with the pom-poms. I got to open. I opened up all of these 
pom-poms, bunny tails, you know, they came in the packaging. And for the body, I'm using the 18 count. And I'm seriously just gonna glue them on here and kind of give them some texture, if you will. And then I can come back in with the little ones and fill in if I need to. But also um, have, I'll do the ears first. Ah, hot glue on my table again. So you gotta just be careful with this hot glue on this project, apparently. But do you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of mushing them together, right? Like that's gonna go here. So I'm gonna glue that tip of it and squish it together so that it stays up in there where it should go. And then we can do this one over here maybe. And then, like I said, we can just tuck them up under here, give them a good pinch, get the glue off your table again. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking you, but I need that glue off. There we go. I'll bring the vacuum later. And that's how we're going to do it. I'm just going to go around it, and then I may put, like, some glue in between and hold it in place so they stick together. Right? Because I want it to look like a bunny, not all falling apart. So, I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay.
Here we go. Oh, say hi, Wellington. Do you say hi? Yeah, can you move out the way now? Okay, guys, here is the white one. I love it. I think the ribbons look like, oh, okay, look like whiskers. Oh, I love that bunny, and I am really loving this more earthy kind of boho -y feel Easter egg wreath. I think they turned out really well. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and you try some of these yourself. And I will talk with you later. Bye!